your TomCast now. Do it for yourself or you can do it for a friend. Go to TomHartman.com to see just how easy it is. And thank you so much for all of your support. KCAA Loma Linda, 1050 AM, 106.5 FM, and now 102.3 FM. I'm Tom Busby, CNBC. Low inflation causing a bit of a rift at the Federal Reserve. Minutes released today from the central bank's latest policy meeting showed some bankers urging caution before hiking rates again because inflation is so low. Others thought another rate increase would cause a spike in inflation. That baffled a lot of Wall Streeters today, but thanks to strong earnings from Urban Outfitters and Target, stocks got a rare boost today from retailers. At the close, the Dow up 25, the Nasdaq up 12. Two White House Business Advisory Councils were broken up today after a mass exodus of CEOs and labor leaders upset with President Trump's response to the white supremacist violence in Virginia last weekend. Union Pacific Railroad laying off 750 managers, that's 2% of its workforce, trying to cut costs and save money. But Tyson Foods is adding 300 jobs at a plant in Tennessee because Americans are eating a lot more chicken, and it needs the workers. Tom Busby, CNBC. I'm Nick Soboleski, a select quote agent with a true story that could save you hundreds of dollars a year. A woman named Linda just called. Her husband, Ray, has a $300,000 group life insurance policy, but is changing jobs and can't take it with him. Well, I shopped the many highly rated term life insurance companies we represent and found Ray, who is 41 and takes medication to control his cholesterol, a 10-year, $500,000 policy for under $27 a month. That's almost twice the coverage for less than half of what he had paid. If SelectQuote hasn't shopped for your life insurance, you're probably paying too much. For your free quote, call 800-445-6363. That's 800-445-6363. 800-445-6363. Or go to selectquote.com. Since 1985, we shop, you save. Get full details on the example policy at selectquote.com slash commercials. Your price could vary depending on your health, issuing company, and other factors. Not available in all states. NBC News Radio. I'm Tom Roberts. President Trump is putting an end to his Manufacturing Council and the Strategy and Policy Forum. Trump tweeting the announcement today, just moments after several more CEOs announced their resignations from the council. The move coming a day after the president's controversial remarks about Saturday's deadly white supremacist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia. That's Lisa Carter. The parents of the woman killed protesting white supremacists in Virginia are calling for an end to hate. Susan Bro brought today's attendees of the Heather Heyer Memorial Service in Charlottesville to their feet. What can I do to make a difference? And that's how you're going to make my child's death worthwhile. I'd rather have my child, but by golly, if I got to give her up, we're going to make it count. Dad Mark Heyer says his daughter wanted to put down hate. Another U.S. service member is dead in the battle against ISIS. The U.S. military today confirmed the service member died during a joint operation between U.S. and Afghan forces in eastern Afghanistan. Several other personnel were wounded. Search and recovery operations continue off the coast of Oahu for the crew of a downed Army helicopter. The UH-60 Blackhawk chopper crashed last night and five crew members are missing. They're all active duty soldiers. Freetown, the capital city of Sierra Leone, is preparing for mass burials after a devastating mudslide killed at least 400 people. More than 1,000 remain missing. In Miami, Attorney General Jeff Sessions is praising that city for dropping its sanctuary city status, but he ripped Chicago for not following suit. The most fundamental duty of government is to ensure the safety, which is a part of the liberty of its people. Respect for the rule of law has broken down. Sessions noted the Windy City's soaring murder rate. Lottery officials are reporting brisk ticket sales ahead of tonight's $430 million Powerball drawing. It's the 12th largest jackpot in the history of U.S. lotteries. You're listening to the latest from NBC News Radio. From the KCAA Weather Center, this is Rod Arlen. Clear in 61 degrees tonight, hot on Thursday, high 87, with mostly sunny skies. Friday, we're up to 90, and Saturday, it's 92 with partly cloudy skies. That's your weather forecast for this hour from KCAA, 1050 AM, 106.5 FM, and now 102.3 FM, 3 and 1, the trifecta of talk in Southern California.
Do you have any questions about legal issues? Have you ever been stopped by a police officer and issued a ticket that you're scared to deal with? Have you ever been in trouble with the law and don't know what to do? Do you have a will or power of attorney question? Is your home being foreclosed upon and you don't know where to turn? Maybe you were given a contract that you don't understand. For freedom and a worry-free solution, call for Legal Shield today at 213-245-1305. It's that simple. You will have access to high-quality law firms that will fight for you for less than a dollar a day. Peace of mind is just a call away. That's for Legal Shield. Call 213-245-1305 or visit us at nocourt.us. Welcome to the Sports Circus from fabulous Las Vegas, sunny Southern California, Honolulu, Hawaii, Phoenix, Arizona, Memphis, Tennessee, and of course our friends over in Little Rock. Can't forget them. That's right. And also everybody up in the Buffalo, Rochester, Niagara, and Toronto market on WLVL, our NBC Sports affiliate up there. Here we're at the KMZQ affiliate for SB Nation in Las Vegas. How about a round of applause for them? All right. Because that's where we're sitting. We have to applaud them. <laughs> they open the door for us. So we're here with our co-host, Long Beach Lenny. How are you doing today, buddy? I'm doing great, my friend. Awesome. And we have producer Colonel Bucky. Ready to go. He's gloating today, and we'll get to him in just a few minutes. Today's show is brought to you by the American Business Trust Company, specializing in startup consulting, sales and marketing, corporate strategy, and investment capital. Visit them online at abtrustco.com or call 657 600 one eight seven six for all your business needs. That's the American Business Trust Company, six five seven six zero zero one eight seven six. All right, Lenny, let's get into it. I don't know if uh, our special guest is with us just yet, but as soon as he uh, jumps in, we're going to jump over to his topics. But in the interim, let's stick with the baseball world. Hold on, first, Manny, are you there? Manny's not here. No, Manny. So let's go with the baseball topics, Lenny, to start us off. Sure. Sal, why, why don't we have this uh, segment sponsored by uh, the Redwood Trees, okay? Because somebody in baseball pretty much resembles a Redwood tree. It has to be all rise. Aaron Judge. This man is enormous, Sal. When you look at him at 6 feet 7, 282 pounds, do you think, Sal, if you just, you know, Throw out there, hey, I've got a professional athlete. Tell me what sport he's in. He's 6'7", 282. Immediately, well, what are we thinking? We're thinking baseball, right? No, we're not. But this man is a mammoth among men for the hallowed and traditional Yankees. And Sal, he uh, recently got an award, which is uh, due <laughs> justly to him. Right. Let's say, let's say that. And, and what, let's get the let's get the good award out here, Sal. The good award was that some of the WWE superstar wrestlers went to him and presented Mr. Judge with his own WWE championship belt, Sal. How deserving for a man who's what six seven two eighty two. In fact, when he was handed it uh, by Big Cass, who the wrestler is six feet eleven inches tall. He himself is only 275 pounds. So here's uh, Mr. Judge, all rise. Everybody's rising up. And here he is with a belt, Sal. How fitting. How fitting. A championship belt for a championship-type season. But really, <laughs> are we thinking of that, Sal, or are we thinking there's another uh, dubious record that he is tied right now? And, yes, Sal, it is that critical consecutive strikeout games set by Adam Dunn way back in the Reds' days. And now he has the opportunity sometime in the future to be able to break this hallowed mark, Sal. My question for you, Sal, is what are you willing to give if the WWE is willing to give Aaron Judge a championship belt, what would the ringmaster of the sports circus be willing to wheel out to him in tribute for his consecutive strikeouts. I would be willing to give him 
a mountainous version of the golden sombrero. I mean, that would <laughs> seem to be fitting, wouldn't it? Or maybe would it be a silver sombrero for him? Uh, that would be fitting, except it would have to be so big and so <laughs> hey, sturdy. All the games. That we, we'd have to make an act out of it, Sal. You'd have to be able to, like, ride treacherous motorcycles through there. That's what we'd have to do. All right. I just heard somebody. Do we have our guest that's coming on the line here probably pretty yes, quick? Yes, we have yeah, our guest. Manny. Yes, that is our special guest. And, you know, what? we're going to pick up on that question uh, after we get done with a couple of segments here with our special guest. Now, I'm glad you can make it, Manny, because we haven't, <laughs> okay. we haven't told anybody about you coming on just yet. So let me say that, folks, today we have a very special guest. We happen to have a two-time World Series champion, a three-time All-Star, and, wow, how many years did you play in the big leagues, Manny? Thirteen years. Thirteen years. That would be Manny Sanguin from the Pittsburgh Pirates, and you did have a short stint with the Oakland A's. Great to have you on, Manny. Yeah, thank you. Great, and, you know, Manny... I have one year with the Oakland A's, and then... Then train me back to Pittsburgh. At that 77 and 78, I go back to Pittsburgh. Right, right. And that was a very famous team as well, right? Yeah, but when I was dead money, the player would go, and I only have it by the blue, Joe Rudy, and uh, North in center field. Right. You know, as a, as a catcher. North, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Manny, as a catcher, we know that you were often overshadowed by a guy by the name of Johnny Bench, but you actually oh. hit you hit for a higher <laughs> batting average than that guy. You hit better than Johnny Bench. Well, you know, i be honest with you. I started to play ball when I was 22 years old. No kidding. Yeah, and uh, I, would, I live in the, in the coastal in, Pan, in Cologne. Mm-hmm. And then my father used to have a cell book, but, and I spent my time with him. And then one day, my brother and me coming for fishing like at 12 o'clock. And I see two men talking to a lot of the, the young teenager, the, the guy, the 20, thing like that. Every song, then we're looking for ball players to play for Pan American Mission. Mm-hmm. Are you hear me? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. And then we don't have a shower in the house, and then and they asking me to play, and then softball. And then I tell you, I had to go to the river to take shower, and then we come on and play. That happened quick. And then he called me. He said, Manny, get four, three days to play it with you, and... Bring it to the mission. I said, I don't have no money to, to take anybody. Mm-hmm. He gave me 20 bucks. That was 1962. And when I get there, he called me and gave me one uniform. And then he said to me, you look like Willie Mays. And then I said, who? Who? <laughs> I was in good shape. <laughs> and then we go to Man. practice. And I was chasing ball in center field, and he called me to hit. He gave me a bat. He said, go out there, and then, then throw one ball close to my shoulder, and I hit it out of the ballpark. Because I used to have a hatch, and I, I called the tree everywhere. And everybody said, who was that crazy guy that come? That crazy guy is the one talking to you. That's my beginning. <laughs> go ahead, Lenny. So, so Manny, can can you tell us uh, real quick who was a uh, teammate that you really worked well with? I worked good with Roberto Clemente. And my my friend, oh, you nice have a Roberto. lot of stories and knowledge with that. What what we're what we're gonna do here, Manny, is that we we are going to take you back a little bit in memory lane. We're going to be asking you with all the baseball fans that listen to the sports circus. We have just 
thousands that do that. We're going to be able to go, go back into Pittsburgh. We definitely, Manny, want to talk about the Pirates and that wonderful, hard-fought seven-game series that you had against the Orioles. So many Hall of Famers in that series, Manny, and you were a big reason, especially in one of the games. So we're going to be going now to a commercial break. We are here, ladies and gentlemen, with Manny Sanguian, and he is going to be taking us back into Major League Baseball when baseball was tough, when baseball had stars, and when baseball had a lot of teamwork. So don't go anywhere. The Sports Circus with Manny Sanguian going to baseball. We'll be right back after these commercial messages. Are you a small business owner or pursuing the dream of starting your own company? Do you know where to start or how to grow that existing business? The American Business Trust Company has the answers you need. The American Business Trust Company can help you with startup capital, business strategy, sales and marketing, and establishing your company with a physical location or on the internet. You decide. You bring the idea, the American Business Trust Company can help with the rest. For a free evaluation, you may visit them online at abtrustco.com. That's A-B-T-R-U-S-T-C-O.com or call them at 657-600-1876. That's the American Business Trust Company, 657-600-1876. Call them today. They can help your business right away. So, you want to be in show business. Do people tell you that you're really funny, you have a great personality, and you should have your own talk show? Many of us have been told that, but we don't know how to get started. It's easier than you think. Let the pros at Cali Vegas give you a free talent evaluation. Call 949-445-1119 and learn how quickly you can create, produce, and host your very own talk show. Imagine not having to sit in traffic every day, commuting back and forth to the same old boring job. Get started in television or radio today with your free talent evaluation from Cali Vegas. Call 949-445-1119 or visit them online at calivegas.com. Make your dream come true today and create your new career and learn how to become a television or radio star with the help of Cali Vegas. 949-445-1119. Call now. Welcome back to the Sports Circus. Producer Jim, Colonel Bucky is here. <laughs> yes, Colonel Bucky, that is. That's what the Nobody knows me. you as Jim. Exactly. This segment is brought to you by Erica Herville, bringing you a wealth of expertise. Erica is an expert in the sizzling real estate market. You can give her a call today, 702-376-3464, for your free consultation. And don't forget her number, too. That's Erica Herville, 702 376 Three four six four, the real estate expert who absolutely works for you. As we're officially back here on the Sports Circus. Okay, we're back here with Manny Sanguian, two-time world champion, World Series champion, three-time All-Star from the Pittsburgh Pirates, and one short stint with the Oakland A's. So, Manny, I know Lenny has, he's got a, a plethora of questions. I, I just have one quick question before Lenny gets back to his next question. Now, as an all-star in 1971, I'm sorry, in, um, yeah, 1971, and a World Series champion in 1971, it, what what kind of makes me question this is how come you weren't an all-star in 1979 when your team won the World Series as well? Uh, I, have, I don't have an idea. In 79, I don't was playing every day. I was like a part-time player. I come in from the bench. I think the Adiat and the Nicosia were playing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was in the team. Got it. 
All right. Well, I guess that would make sense. Maybe because I don't remember. I mean, I remember watching the series. I didn't. Re- I didn't follow the Pittsburgh Pirates on a daily because I was living in Chicago at that time. And of course, you were playing those blasted Cubs. Of course, I'm. I'm certainly not a Cub fan, but. Anybody who plays, <laughs> anybody who plays against the Cubs, that's my favorite team that day. Well, I love that because I love Chicago too, especially at the ballpark. I love to play ball in the daytime. Uh huh. So when we go to Chicago, I was ready to play because that was my time, daytime. All right, all right. I think Colonel Bucky had a quick question for you. Yeah, I, uh, of course, remember watching you uh, as a young boy, uh, Manny. Uh, of course, I, I grew up a Cincinnati Reds fan, and and uh, they always uh, had those games against the Pittsburgh Pirates, and uh, you were always a, a main staple there. But uh, the, you, you've built the reputation over the period of time to uh, swing it at a lot of pitches, which were, some would say, not even in the strike zone. Uh, is that your way of saying that? Hey, I mean, you're an aggressive hitter, and uh, uh, if it's anywhere near the plate, I'm I'm going to give a, a crack at it. He's a free swinger. Yeah, yeah that because I never have nobody uh, teach me what to hit. I was 22 years old, and then I had to use my own ability, and I have a good balance. Well, you know, I, I remember the Clemente said to me, Sangi. If you don't swing the high, high ball, you hit over 340. Yeah. Forget what. I just have in my mind I'm going to swing it. But you. So I, I, and, then, and then my balance, where I, I step back behind with good balance. I use quick my hands. I have a quick hands. Well, That's the first time somebody said to me about uh, Sonny Strike. Step back. I said, slow down and keep. Don't swing the high pitch. Well, Manny, you still hit 296 in your career. <laughs> I'm blessed God for that because <laughs> I, I don't walk too much. That, that's what was one of my, my uh, thing that i going to go. To, I, I used to be like a self-defense. I, defense, I know I throw punch. So back kids so always say, Manny, I love to watching you play because you the whatever they throw the ball you you hit it that way and this way. Uh, and then uh, I remember in sixty six Roberto Clemente take like a four five they all to go give you exhibition the hit. And then he wanna see like a three swing the each one in the batting case. And then he explained to you little things. And I come and I swing the bat, but my feet was so separated apart. He said, man, he said, you move it yet three hands, I hope you hit better. My first year, I hit 235. The second year, I hit 328. Yeah. That's Roberto Clemente Paos. And then with the style, I start to get uh, what you can hit at 290. It's like in 59, I think he hit 307. Because Clemente, and then the same year, Maria Lu win the Biden title. That's where that's that's the kind of person Roberto Clemente was for us. Absolutely. Now, uh, 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 let me ask you this here, Manny. You, we've got to go to that 1979 Pittsburgh Pirates team. That that was you remember that Pop Stargell had that we are family. You guys had that family environment around you. Willie Stargell. Yeah, I told you, you know, I told you what happened. We would turn yeah. and play a hidden body in practice and three rivers ten. And then the song coming like we are family. If Willie called up there he said, Keep in that the song that we're gonna have it for the Pittsburgh Pile. And right there, we start to use that song. And then he come in with all the stars. And then he, he begins to start to everybody. Because Willie follow Roberto Clemente step. When the Roberto go, Willie take over. And that everybody is surprised. We don't know a competitor. A coming from body in practice than the uh, 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 Three River Stadium. And, and in that series, that, yeah, go ahead. You remember in that series, 
I mean, you guys did go down on that on, on, in that series, but there was a particular uh, game that you had there, and you're going to know the at bat at the end of it with that game winning RBI. And Manny, the title in the papers because we did not have ESPN, it said Manny Sanguian swinging in the rain. Tell us how that game was, Manny, because you know that series. There was a lot of rain. Yeah, and it was not too far all over the place. It was like a 25 degrees or something like that. And then I have a lot of uh, long shirt, and then I was in the bullpen. And then the trainee, Tony Bartiron, called he tell me, man, in shot 10, I need you. I say I don't like you because every time you say something, you I, I go and then you laugh in my face. And then I said, put Shaq Tena. And then Shaq says, Sanky, come on, you're going to hit. But I don't want ready to, get, to go to hit because Tony Allo was messing with me. And then when I get there, I take whatever I have and get it bad. I say, oh, Lord, now you put me in that position. That's my short time. Give me the strength to bring it that, that wrong. It's, uh, I remember the Stam House told me yes. a hard slide in the, in the corner. It was twice. But because I stepped back, I just, just let the bat go. All of said to me, Manny, I saw that hit. You make it look so easy. I said, thank you. No, it was bad. <laughs> if it was raining, it was cold. <laughs> hey, Manny, I have a question regarding your unique catching style now you started at the age of 22 sitting on the ground yes. with your leg extended was that just a comfort thing yes, or was it I, tell I me about that catch you. yeah it is a super scar how we hate when they get to panama i will be short and then he looked me he said you look like catcher i want to play outfield the first baseman or second baseman and then i i throw a couple back to second base he said man I don't think they even Willie Manning can run to you. And then I hear like a five swing. He says, stop. And then he called everybody. He talked to everybody. And they talking, uh, my scout from Panama, he was the interpreter. I remember that he said that how we he said that in two and a half years I was in the big league. Because I have a swing five. I don't know what swing five was. So, Manny, let me ask you a question. Tell me about your catching style of sitting on the ground with your leg extended. Did you find that as an advantage or disadvantage? I'm a former pitcher, but I'd like to know more about that. For me, remember Jim Boney, the, the, the general man, the, the government of Kentucky? When I get to Pittsburgh, I used to catch him in the bullpen. He like how to receive the ball. He tell us the Pittsburgh players that every five day he says he want me to catch. And then he won the ball, the ball low. And then that's when they start to go down in the ground. Oh, well, that's interesting. I, I never knew that. I'm sure a lot of people have wondered about that. Well, that's kind of unique, and we've seen other people do the same thing. You know, Manny was out there doing it, and then decades later we've seen other catchers doing it. It's just something you don't really see very often. And, uh, you know, I, me as a pitcher, I mean, I always wanted to know why they actually did that. So I'm sure, Lenny, you have a question on that too. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember a few catchers getting low like that too. There was another Pirates catcher that kind of uh, I I emulated that style of catching as well. Isn't that very difficult, though, as far as the throwing mechanism, getting up no, like that, Manny? You have to relax. The same way you throw the ball to the pitcher, you throw to second base. It's just one and go. Yes, you be smooth, and then you throw. Tony Peña used to do it. Right. Yeah, yes, yeah. he did. They coach the New York Yankees. I, I have the fortune that I was able to practice in my room. And say they go to any, uh, what you call, dive bar, I stay in my room throwing the ball in my pillow. I put it, and then I used to throw like 150, and then I go to sleep, and that helped me a lot. I used to sit down in my room and just practice for myself. Man, Manny, what did it mean for you guys as a team to have the Panama Express leading off your games, having that guy, Omar Moreno, leading off for you guys? 
We used to call it the analog. We used to call it the analog. It was so amazing that he had start to burn the ball before they get the ball. He is like a two feet from first base. That, that guy used to fly. <laughs> and then we 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 love we love to see him stealing bases and they run him from first to home plate because you you look like he no was he like a six four. Like he don't want to run it, but every song he just be right in your face. It was amazing that when we see him, we only tell him my bone to hit the ball in the ground. Yeah, it's really great to be able to have a weapon like that on your team. And you guys had many, many other weapons and Hall of Famers on that team. So what we're going to do, Manny, we're getting close to a break here pretty soon. But, man, we're going to get into that World Series team and a lot of the teammates that made that We Are Family. You are listening right now to Manny Sanguian on the Sports Circus. We will be back after a few commercial messages. Don't go away. Are you a small business owner or pursuing the dream of starting your own company? Do you know where to start or how to grow that existing business? The American Business Trust Company has the answers you need. The American Business Trust Company can help you with startup capital, business strategy, sales and marketing, and establishing your company with a physical location or on the internet. You decide. You bring the idea. The American Business Trust Company can help with the rest. For a free evaluation, you may visit them online at abtrustco.com. That's A-B-T-R-U-S-T-C-O.com. Or call them at 657-600-1876. That's the American Business Trust Company, 657-600-1876. Call them today. They can help your business right away. So, you want to be in show business. Do people tell you that you're really funny, you have a great personality, and you should have your own talk show? Many of us have been told that, but we don't know how to get started. It's easier than you think. Let the pros at Cali Vegas give you a free talent evaluation. Call 949 445 1119 and learn how quickly you can create, produce, and host your very own talk show. Imagine not having to sit in traffic every day, commuting back and forth to the same old boring job. Get started in television or radio today with your free talent evaluation from Cali Vegas. Call 949 445 1119 or visit them online at calivegas.com. Make your dream come true today and create your new career and learn how to become a television or radio star with the help of Cali Vegas. 949-445-1119. Call now. Do you have any questions about legal issues? Have you ever been stopped by a police officer and issued a ticket that you're scared to deal with? Have you ever been in trouble with the law and don't know what to do? Do you have a will or power of attorney question? Is your home being foreclosed upon and you don't know where to turn? Maybe you were given a contract that you don't understand. For freedom and a worry-free solution, call for Legal Shield today at 213-245-1305. It's that simple. You will have access to high-quality law firms that will fight for you for less than a dollar a day. Peace of mind is just a call away. That's for Legal Shield. Call 213-245-1305 or visit us at nocourt.us. It's justice for all and not justice for some. Circus again from fabulous Las Vegas, sunny Southern California, Honolulu, Hawaii, Phoenix, Arizona, and I know Manny's over in Pittsburgh. So also uh, <laughs> he's got uh, an audience over there in Pittsburgh listening to us, and also our friends down in Memphis on oh that's WHBQ, the NBC Sports affiliate there, and of course our friends again on, on uh, WLVL up in the Buffalo, Niagara, and Toronto markets. 
This segment is brought to you by the Social Register of Las Vegas, the only private business networking organization with access to top business leaders with purchasing power and consumer needs. Their membership consists of qualified business owners, top-level executives, and entrepreneurs that make financial decisions for their companies today. Visit them online at socialregister.com to learn more or give them a call at 702-256-0123. That's 702-256-0123. Ask for Claire the Cougar Zito. How about a round of applause for her? Right. Okay, so we have one more segment here with Manny. And, uh, Lenny, I'm going to let you continue on the path that you were on when we went to break. So, Manny, I have a question on the pitching staff. You had such a great bunch of guys as far as starters. I mean, you ended up having Big Jim Bibby on there. You had the candy man. You had Bruce Keeson. But how important was it, too, Manny, to be able to have a submarine thrower like Kent Tocolvi to clean up a game? How special was that? I mean, Tiki was really tough. The ball moved everywhere for you to throw like a 93 to sometimes he tried to throw too hard. And then, you know, whether it's when they hit it, but when they hit, take it, they coming down the way, that body was heavy. Go down when, man, that was, when the hit would come and he pitched three in, and not like a now one in it. Man, when he go to the ball game, we know that we have a 99% chance to win again. And listen, the last game, we, I mean, the game that we pitched, we beat Cincinnati, Chuck Tena bring a bird black level from the bullpen. And then by mm-hmm. Levin just throw curve by the making them look bad. He would curve <laughs> down and they don't know what was coming. He saved that game to go to the wild set. Bird blind Levin in seventy nine. He changed him for really, uh, the pitcher to be in the in the bullpen for the to close the game. Even though so, we have a Kenta Kobe, we have a Dan Robinson. Right. Now, 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 Manny, as far as about uh, team hitting, you guys were very powerful, but how great was it? I want you to give a little bit of, of a snapshot of, of Bill Madlock and then the Cobra, Dave Parker. Go ahead and talk about those two guys <laughs> hitting. You know, them two guys were special. They have a short swing, and that they wait for the ball and good balance. Then was like a... Two hitting machine, you know. I love Dave Parker and I love Mal. I know Dave Parker go right now with like a with, uh, what you call it, have it like a, a, he's shaking right now. But David, I love you and be a mother. You be a good boy because you my guy. Yeah, then Dave Parker was unbelievable. He he, he just gonna walk to the whole thing, but the two knees kill him most of the time. And then we have a pop, Willie, that was the master. I remember this in the seven game in Baltimore. I think McGregor throw him and a slider. He 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 so, so Manny, why don't you give us a little bit of an, exclama- uh, an explanation about the stars that Willie Stargell would give out to the players? If you get two hits or you win the game, you get what you call one or two stars. If you sacrifice, you move the guy to one base to the other, you get things. You throw somebody out, you get something. You always have something for everybody. And, and so, he, uh, go ahead. He he gave them to you, and they put them on top of your your hat. They were put on your Correct. hat. Correct. Yeah, that everybody was so happy. That was a great great idea. That's the kind of the player we want to help each other. Yeah, you know that actually reminds me of what they do in football, especially in college football. You see, like for for the Ohio State fans, of course they they give them a a Buckeye sticker. And, right. and put it on their helmet. Uh, I know I had to get Bucky involved over here sure. as soon as I said that. But, yeah, you know, Manny, that's the same kind of idea. And I, I think that the players, uh, they like 
the recognition. Everybody could see, look, this is what I've been contributing. If you have a question, take a look at my hat. Oh, the player loves that thing. I'll say, I did this, and then, and then, and then Willie said, no, this is for this guy. Everybody won one at that. We win sometimes. Right, right. So, hey, let me ask you a couple of a couple of questions because we're going to be uh, we have just a few minutes left. Manny, I know that uh, you've got Manny's Barbecue over in PNC Park. You want to tell everybody about that? Yes, I have it. Uh, Manny, Q Q Q Barbecue, and the. Behind the wall, the, the, the green wall in center field, I sit down up there to talk to the people and, and take some pictures and have a good time. It's a really good, good sass. Yeah. I think I, I'm, we're going to sell it in the page book. Now we have a page book. And uh, my daughter, this white friend, they helping me to sell it. We have a great time. Mm-hmm. It's a, one, a good test. And the people really like it. Hey, let me ask you another question. I'm, I'm going to go back to the to the game real quick, and then we'll get back to you promoting your other things. R- just real quick, in, in 30 seconds, can you tell me what your thoughts are of how far the players are hitting the balls today? Do you believe the ball is tighter wound today than it was when you played? It's a more lively ball? A different ball, different players, and different everything. Now then on the swing, inside out. Uh, I, I saw Mr. George in Miami. I never see somebody hit the ball consistent out of the ballpark. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it, every day then coming, we then teach you to hit line drive consistent everywhere. But now then go uh, inside out for on wrong. Right. Well, just imagine. Again, it's not the same way. Then don't go and sacrifice. And then don't and then don't then say the say the sacrifice then one and then swing to hit double triple hit the ball out of the ballpark. Right. Well, it seems like everything is leaving the yard now. Manny, one out of every ten fly balls is a home run today. That's crazy. I know. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I I can't even imagine that. I grew up watching. Remember, then don't pitch inside like we do. Right. And see, you have a strong guy that swing the ball twice outside hard. The good. We come in inside after you. Right. We don't want to let it, you to kill us. Right. Well, okay. Well, look, Manny, we're running out of time. Let me ask you a couple quick things. Is there a, a cause or any personal interest that you want to tell everybody about? Uh, because this show actually airs from Hawaii all the way to upstate New York, many points in between, okay, and I on iHeartRadio. Something about Roberto Clemente. Yes. In '71, he said to us. I see you guys take us to the World Series, we, I take over. I just got everybody to my friends. They come on in the ballpark and looking for my barbecue. And it's there in the wet page. And uh, thank you for everything. I love you all the fans. And thank you for having me, and God bless you. Look, it's been a pleasure having you on our show. And listen, Manny... Anytime you want to come back, just make sure you make the arrangements just like we did for today. And we certainly would love to have you back on the show. I want you know, I want to try some of that barbecue. You're going to have to send some out here to Las Vegas. Oh, also, also, I have it some, some wine, too. Oh, really? And they, they, they make it in the Clemente Museum. Uh-huh. And they have a Manny's Wine. Manny's Wine and mm-hmm. Manny's Barbecue. I like it. How about a round of applause for that? <laughs> yeah, sounds good. You got the Clemente Museum. You ask, you go up there, you go on the web, you find Manny's wine there too. Nice. Now, is there a website that you want to tell everybody about where they could find your Manny's wine and a little bit more about Manny's barbecue? Yeah, and we are, I have a web page, page now. I have it like a five thousand people now. The the the. Want to see my beautiful face, <laughs> <laughs> Manny? Do you know what the web? Do you know what the website address is? No, get Manny. <laughs> Manny <laughs> just Google Sanguian. Manny. Mm-hmm. I want to Google Manny Sanguian barbecue or Google Manny Sanguian wine, and we'll be able to find. No, why, there's no Manny Sanguian barbecue. We don't put the wine now. Oh, the okay. Barbecue. All right, it's just Manny's barbecue, PNC Park, right? That's how we could find it. Correct. Awesome. Nice. Well, I'll tell you, it's, many, it's been a pleasure having you on. And, and again, ladies and gentlemen, Manny Sanguin from the P-
Pittsburgh Pirates for a bunch of years and one year with the Oakland A's. Two-time world champion, three-time All-Star, and one hell of a catcher and a great human being. Thank you very much. And God bless you. Thank you for having me. I love my friend. Lo quiero mucho. Que Dios me lo bendiga. Muchas gracias, amigo. <laughs> Muchas gracias, amigo. Okay. Gracias. See, hasta la vista. Good stuff. Okay, so that was that was Manny Singian, and uh, we have just about what thirty seconds left in this segment. Yep. And you know, Lenny, we're going to finish up, or actually, we're going to start off with where we left off uh, before Manny came on. I want you to recap everybody about that, and uh, we're going to pick that up in just a few minutes here on the Sports Circus. So, you want to be in show business? Do people tell you that you're really funny? You have a great personality and you should have your own talk show. Many of us have been told that, but we don't know how to get started. It's easier than you think. Let the pros at Cali Vegas give you a free talent evaluation. Call 949-445-1119 and learn how quickly you can create, produce, and host your very own talk show. Imagine not having to sit in traffic every day, commuting back and forth to the same old boring job. Get started in television or radio today with your free talent evaluation from Cali Vegas. Call 949-445-1119 or visit them online at calivegas.com. Make your dream come true today and create your new career and learn how to become a television or radio star with the help of Cali Vegas. 949-445-1119. Call now. Do you have any questions about legal issues? Have you ever been stopped by a police officer and issued a ticket that you're scared to deal with? Have you ever been in trouble with the law and don't know what to do? Do you have a will or power of attorney question? Is your home being foreclosed upon and you don't know where to turn? Maybe you were given a contract that you don't understand. For freedom and a worry-free solution, call for Legal Shield today at 213-245-1305. It's that simple. You will have access to high-quality law firms that will fight for you for less than a dollar a day. Peace of mind is just a call away. That's for Legal Shield. Call 213-245-1305 or visit us at nocourt.us. It's justice for all and not justice for some. back to the sports circus this is our final segment for today and folks if you want to follow us on twitter just search for the sports circus you'll see this big character he's uh he's actually the ringmaster with a a big top hat and a, a giant belly of course i don't have a really big belly of course <laughs> at least at least not right now but anyway uh, look for that character and uh just make sure you click to follow us also you can follow us on facebook the sports circus is our page there and i know our co-host long beach lenny has a page too Certainly do. Lenny Adkins, A-D-K-I-N-S. You can go ahead and hit me there. Request me as a friend. Please please be my friend. And as I accept you, we will go ahead and contact one another there. Please also, I got Lenny, Long Beach Lenny, number four on Twitter. And, Sal, we gotta, well, you got to give credit where credit's due. And, Sal, generally, you really wouldn't say this term to, to give somebody a attaboy on the back. Great job to a real dirtbag. Okay? That just doesn't sound complimentary, but it is. How about Jared Weaver finishing his career with 150 wins and finally hanging it up? Let's get some applause for 
the big dirt bag out of Long Beach State. Uh, he's uh, disappointed many a fantasy baseball owner. I'll tell you that one from personal experience. <laughs> okay. And that one was from that was from your ringmaster, Sal, because Jared Weaver, yeah, pretty good player, not a great player. You know, anything to push the Killer. Angels' agenda. Killer I, I on it. your fantasy baseball no, team. On your fantasy baseball team. Yeah. Lenny, go ahead. Okay, let's not let's not hashtag rain on my parade, okay? <laughs> Jeez. But how, how, how about guys? How about we go to this? How about something? Sometimes things are misspoken. We've all done that, but then you say things that are intentional, and you gotta wonder when somebody says something straight and intentional. Gotta wonder where he's coming from. How about the great uh, uh, Mr. Stanton over here in Miami, who is just mashing? The mess out of the ball. And, yes, Sal, this guy can certainly mash, all right? He is a monster mash of the league. But he was recently said, quoted, when, when he was growing up and he was watching old films of Babe Ruth and Mickey Mantle, that those guys were the standard. And that 61 had always been the number on his mind as a young boy. But Stanton also went further. He said, when Ruth hit a record 60 home runs in 1927, he said he gives that achievement a big asterisk because the sport at that time didn't integrate all races in the game. So he's putting an asterisk next to the big Bambino because at that time they just didn't have everybody inclusive, Sal. Okay, what, what sense did that make to even say that? Considering that this man... Yes, he's biracial, but his dad is completely white. So I don't understand why did you want to pile on Babe Ruth and the Mick and all of those greats that came before you that set that, that set, set qualifying records for others to follow, Sal. All this does is this brings him, it introduces him, it's the first step over the line in the Colin Cancer Nick a world. This guy is now stepping into very dangerous territory. And once you do that, now you're going to be labeled as a problem. Now, do you believe that the new group in Miami with Derek Jeter and with uh, uh, Schu Schumann, right? I think that's the guy's name. Uh, yeah. I think, yeah, he, he, he's the guy that put up all the money. Do you believe they're going to want a problematic situation popping up. Oh, this is again, just like the conversation we had yesterday about using the owner's stage to exercise your agenda. Now, now let's take that a step further. If that is the case, if they're going to put a asterisk or he's going to put an asterisk by it and everybody was saying, well, uh, all these, Southern statues, these Confederate statues coming down and all this other stuff, like Lee, for example, slave owner, da, da, da. Okay, and then, then we had our president come back and say, well, hey, wait a minute. George Washington was an enormous slaveholder. So was Thomas Jefferson. So are you going to take statues of them down too? So my, my point is, if you're going to put an asterisk next to, uh, obviously, the, the most recognizable name in baseball, period. Ever. Ever that played in the beanbag era. It wasn't even a baseball back then. And you got a guy playing with a tightly not, or tightly wound ball today that's hitting moonshots. Imagine what they would have did with that ball back in Ruth's day. I mean, that. imagine how far Mantle would have hit him even. I mean, so, look, this guy is getting into some very dangerous territory, and he really ought to consider keeping his opinion on this to himself or talking about it outside the forum like we discussed yesterday. Bucky, I know you got to comment on this. Well, talking about Babe Ruth's era, when he was hitting 50-some home runs, I think the guy that was number two was hitting something like 20, 18, 19 home runs. It wasn't even close. And look at so, the greats back then, too. Right. I, it just it wasn't even close in, in his era. So why he's entering this arena is because he's biracial and because – there's going to be a lot of buzz on that. Right. Just Keep, look what, look what LeBron James is doing right now right. with and, his name. And all he's doing is he's he's cutting off his finger despite his hand. Exactly. It's the same garbage. Lenny, go ahead. 
So what are we supposed to do, guys? Are we supposed to go into the into the Hall of Fame now, and are we supposed to just change everything? Just like you were saying, Sal, you know, yes, right now in America, there is some division, and people are wanting to yank down statues and change history. But that doesn't fare well with the fans here. The fans aren't looking at this style saying, yeah, you know what, uh, Ringmaster, Lenny, uh, this, is not, this, this is not right. We have to go into the Hall of Fame. We have to put some asterisks, or even in Yankee Stadium, we have to go ahead and take out the, the big bust heads of those that just didn't play with, it, with integration at that time. Are we supposed to go back to a certain level before the Negro Leagues got integrated, Sal, and say, okay, everything prior to that, it really didn't count. It really didn't mean anything. And the colonel's right to say that, you know, Babe Herman Ruth, you know, this guy, not only was he, <laughs> people think Sal, and people lose history by thinking that Babe Ruth was just some beer-chugging fat guy that just got up there, swung the stick, and smoked a cigar and caroused. You know, he may have done some of those things, but Babe Ruth was also a pitcher. He was an incredible he, pitcher. Incredible pitcher. I mean, he had skill. And all they think is, uh, here, here's the guy swinging a bat, and you see him hitting a home run. By the way, look in the record books as well. Babe Ruth has a lot of doubles. He's, he, he ran the base as well. He knew the game well. He coached the game well. He is, Sal. And it doesn't matter. He he is up there on the Mount Rushmore of players. And, and, net, and yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt you. And don't forget, this guy was playing in parks that were giant. I mean, hitting a home run in some of these parks, I mean, that was a mammoth task. Today, you have a lively ball. You have a very friendly environment, the way that a lot of the, the parks are configured. I think it's just so overblown today. It's all about everybody getting a gold star. Again, we talk about that. We have baseball's version of the Snowflake League. And let them hit with his bat, Sal. And let's see how many home runs they're going to hit 500 feet with the Bambino's wooden pine bat. Let's see how many, you know, let's see these records get escalated. Let's have Bonds and those guys without steroids and stuff. Let's have them hit by just having a regular diet with, with you know, steak and potatoes and, and regular Joe. They didn't have any supplements or anything like that. And, you know, we could get a lot of more information because we know that Colonel Bucky did. I think he was a bat boy for Babe Ruth at that time. <laughs> so, yeah, right. so, Colonel, what do you have to say about this uh, topic here? Well, I think when you're talking about uh, names that stand above the rest, not only in their time but still today, at least in, in my mind, Babe Ruth is certainly one of them in baseball, and Jim Brown is one in football. They both dominated in their era. And I don't care what color they are. We know one's black and one's white. So what? I'm talking about eras here. And in their eras, there was nobody even close to either one. I would agree to that. Absolutely. How about, yeah, well, how we, about some applause for that then? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Self gratuitous applause for the colonel. Yes. Right. <laughs> of course. That that would be that would be the colonel breaking yeah. his arm to pat himself on the back yet again. But of course that's Any commonplace here. Hey, I'm just in anyway, front of, I'm hey, in wait, front wait, of wait, the wait. applause here. What's commonplace for the Raider fans? I don't know if they know what that means. Commonplace for the Raider fans would be the 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 guy's uh, house that the couches are empty and the fridge is full. That's a commonplace for the Raider fans. <laughs> they love it. So so guys, just 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 to end my thought on this, Babe Ruth, these players that came before, you know, Stan, Stanton needs to to acquire a deeper appreciation for the history of the game and, and these players that have set the path and the standard and literally the salary that, that he gets to enjoy. Some of these guys, even, even as early as the 70s, Sal, um, you know, that weren't making that great of money, but they love the game, they love their team, and they love the fans. Uh, this guy needs to take a, a little bit of that away from himself. Yeah, I, w I would agree. I mean, look, in this era, in today's game, it's a very different game. It's a different fan base, but the money distorts absolutely everything. And frankly, it's wrecking the game.
Back then, they played because they loved the game. They loved the fans. They loved everything about it, but they had jobs. So, nonetheless, anyway, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. And uh, we're going to see everybody tomorrow here at the Sports Circus. So, until then, be sure to tune in and have a fantastic day. So long, everybody. KCAA Loma Linda, 1050 AM, 106.5 FM, and now 102.3 FM.